Well, here we are with my brand new shredder and I've unfortunately put an envelope in there with a credit card uh, in there and uh, unfortunately, as you can see, it's uh, pretty uh, pretty jammed up. Um, I can't forward or reverse with these. I've tried pulling all these little things out with my um, with pair of pliers, but I'm going to have to get a little bit more uh, serious with this. Um, so come on the shed, I've got a couple of tools I'm going to start looking at. Um, these are some of them here, and uh, I'm going to give those a go, and I'm going to try and you know, get, get in there. You can sort of see in there that this is really badly jammed, and it's actually mostly plastic, um, and it's quite thick, so I'll give it a go, and I'm going to start, you know, getting in there and trying to lift this up, and I'll see how we go. So eventually, this is how I fixed it. What I did was I picked out everything I could using the tools such as this. Uh, obviously, it was switched off uh, for those people that are stupid enough not to know to turn it off in the first place. Anyway, um, let's get back onto the good stuff. So what I did was I got this piece of wood, and as you can see, it's a bit destroyed. I worked out that obviously, these rollers would have to be spinning outwards. Again, that's just common sense would tell you that for in order for paper to come through there. So what I did was I simply placed this block of wood and with the aid of a, of a gentle hammer, I tapped that to try to get these to actually start moving. I then went the opposite, well, obviously on this side, and I punched it back using that. And I just did that, you know, fairly gently, but um, I, I know I got a little bit of movement. I then popped it back on top of the shredder and voila, guess what? It actually works. So here we go. As you can see, it works perfectly now. You can see all the bits dropping in there just like it should. So thank goodness for that. It all works fine.